Hello guys, today we are installing WordPress on a cPanel. So first of all we need to install cPanel uh, from WHM like in here. In, in account information we can access cPanel. So we, in account functions there we need to create our cPanel. So let's get into it. So here is a click create new account and all the options password modification and download upgrade account everything else so now let's create a cPanel account let's click on that create new account Now we need to give your domain name. So I already registered my domain name and I updated the uh, name servers of my server. So as soon as I install WordPress, the site should work. So it will automatically take the username from the domain name itself or, or else you can keep, give it uh, your own. So I am now typing the password for, for my cPanel. So now I already created some packages in WHM so I selected that one. So here is the theme of your cPanel we can change it. So here are the name servers which you need to update in your uh, domain registrar. So now let's create cPanel. Now our cPanel is created, so we need to go to uh, account functions to access our cPanel. So let's go down. Here is it. There in the list accounts, we can see our cPanel which we just created. I'll just type on my do domain name. Here is my IP of the my server, shared server, and here are the quota and the ownership. So now let's load up the cPanel. It's loading. So here are the options. Here is the file management section. Here is the MySQL section. With PHP admin and SEO, and here the add on domains which you can add in and the subdomains as well, where you can add them and uh, install WordPress, email accounts, and another third party application. So now let's install WordPress on my domain. That domain has, in, uh, has no sites installed on it, so this is the first fresh installation so this is the wordpress screenshot if, if you want to see demos we'll not watch demo today uh, we'll just right away install the wordpress so if you already creative in some wordpresses um, for your domains or any add-on domains or subdomains, it will show there. If you want to access your domain with www dot, so you can select in that one. Here you can ch choose your domain name, your subdomain or something to install WordPress. It is the directory in which the WordPress file will be shared. If you um, want to access with your directory with your domain name, you need to give your uh, you need to keep it keep it blank. Otherwise, you need to uh, keep uh, domain name slash wp because the WordPress file will be saved in that directory. So you don't want to do that. So I recommend you to uh, keep it blank. 
now I'll just name my site it, you can do it afterwards now I'm giving the username of uh, for the and WP admin and the uh, WordPress password you need to access uh, you need to access your uh, WordPress with that one only. So here is the word, uh, database which it will, it will create. If you want, you can rename it. You can directly install or choose your uh, favorite themes. I already cho uh, choose one theme. I'll install it right away. Here is the theme. I'll install it right away because I already know. So let's install WordPress. It will take two to three minutes, otherwise much faster. So you can directly open your uh, it will show the theme and everything so now let's log into our WP um, WordPress admin page so here is it now you need to log in with that uh, uh, username and password which you created while installing <laughs> let me type it From here you can do whatever you like. I, mm, I already got an update for my theme. Now let's check that. You always want to update your, th update your themes and plugins so that they work faster and uh, your site will be safe. done so no updates are left in appearance you can, in appearance you can install themes and in plugins you can uh, uh, customize your settings and everything you can add new posts you can add new media like new images and new images for your sites now I'm uh, changing the color of the text and uh, links you can customize it very well as you like as you can see I'm turning it them into red I'm changing the side bar color I like red so so I changed them to red so save and publish them so the site will look like this it will all happen in real time so let's go to dashboard and so yes you can change it whatever you like Let's just log, log out. Where is it? Thank you for watching. Hope you understand how to install WordPress and everything from CPanel.